We're building a lodge for our villager masons. I'm Sean the Shepherd, and this is Adventures in Minecrafting. Welcome back, everybody. It's episode 17 here on Adventures in Minecrafting, walking down into our lovely landscape front yard that we took care of in the last episode. And if you remember, in that last episode, you might have heard me say something like this. And, and then, then we, we need, need some, some flower, flower pots, pots, but I am, I am fresh, fresh out, out of flower, flower pots. pots. So we're all out of flower pots, huh? You know, to make flower pots, you need bricks. And to make bricks, you need to go dig up clay and usually in a swamp biome. But there's also one more way to get bricks, and that is from masons. So today, what we're going to do in that building you see right across the way behind me is we're going to build a lodge. And in that lodge, we're going to put all the masons, and that will give us access to quartz blocks. That will give us access to all of the terracotta, and it will give us access to all the bricks we could ever need. So let's get to it. First things first. Looks like we've got a couple buildings we're gonna, at long last, need to take down. I think that means a time lapse. So many memories of this place. Do you remember when we first placed this cobblestone block? Mr. Butcher! Miss, Mr. Butcher? Seriously. Ser really? Night night. And with that, the buildings are gone. Oh, kind of sad. Kind of sad to see them go. It's a little bittersweet, but let me tell you, I'm looking forward to putting that lodge right here. In case you're curious, that's what we got. That was the makeup of those buildings, including all the little items there in those chests. So I got to come up here and we've got a little bit of dirt to get rid of. In fact, I'm trying to decide if I want to. Yeah, I want it up here on a one level higher. So we're going to put some dirt in. And then we need to measure out a 21 by 13 spot, approximately. 21 by 13 spot. So let me do some measuring and I will be right back. Well, we end up clearing away a good deal of space. Uh, I thought after looking at the size, uh, measuring the dimensions that I was going to need, I realized we were going to need a little bit more space. Now, we'll eventually re-terraform these hills back here, but for now, I just cut them back to give us room. Uh, eventually, we could either bring the hills in or have a pathway that goes all around the building. Uh, we'll play with that once we have the building in, but for right now, it's time to start building.
so I am heading upstairs in our flower shop to take a look at what we've made. Now, that's just a rough frame. We haven't done any of the detailing yet. I want to add a deck out front. We've got to put windows in. Uh, we've got to do the whole set up the whole inside, but that gives you a little step back to see what's going on. I love this style. Uh, really takes on that form of the lodge that we want. But it's getting dark, isn't it? Yep. And now back to building. That will be just about enough time lapses for this episode. You want to know why? Because we're done. That's right. We're done. Do you want to see it? Do you want to see it? Do you want to see it? Oh, I want to show it because it's cool. Look at that. We've got a lodge right out front of the flower shop and the mansion. We've got a nice little lodge as you enter here into the village place people can stay, but we've got a more important purpose for that, and this is going to be the building that is going to house all of our masons. That's right. This is where all of our masons are going to be, and they're going to give us all the quartz and the bricks and the terracotta and the glazed terracotta, but hey, let me give you a tour. So here's the, uh, you saw the building in the time lapse, and you notice there's a little something else going on out there. I'll show you that in just a second. In fact, we'll see that first from the inside. Uh, here's a little hint, little hint, little vegetable garden going on outside that little building, huh? Okay, you let you guess what that is. Got a little garden, a uh, flower garden here in the front. Uh, over on this side, we've got some extra wood stored out front. front. Presumably, that's for somebody that's going to be burning wood in the fire. What fire, you ask? Well, let's go in and see. Got some seating here on the deck. Uh, you could sit right here on the deck, and the masons can come out, sit on the deck, and just look up to the mansion and see what I'm doing. Okay, let's head on in. Little rug here, steps leading up to a central fireplace. And all down here on this first floor, uh, there's an eating area. Uh, this looks like this guy was eating bread, and this... Well, I don't... I don't want to know what he was eating. <clears throat> and a little sitting area with some reading. So this is obviously, this is a living area downstairs here. And a little painting on the wall. And see this, this is that little building we added on to give the outside of the building some character. It's a kitchen. It's a kitchen. So all these people who are staying in the lodge, they can eat. Let's see. What's on the menu for this week? <gasps> Uh-oh. Looks like the potato cycle. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Starts with baked potatoes, makes its way to mashed potatoes, ends up as potato soup and leftovers. Hey, let's uh, take a look in the kitchen. Now, from the kitchen, we can always go outside, and here's a view of the back of the building. Look at that. Oh, I love it. I love it. It came out so well. And so we come back here in the kitchen, a little storage here in the kitchen, uh, here's where all the food gets cooked. Uh, there's a smoker here, some cabinets, some uh, barrels. I'm sure stuffed with good things to eat. Look at that. And you can sit right here and wash the dishes while you look. I think that's, yep, that's the barn over there. Oh, this window looks a little dirtier than the rest. And we can come out of the kitchen, and when it's dinner time, they can ring the bell. Now, looks like there's uh, something down here, too. Oh, we've got some basement storage. Gonna need, gonna need some of that. You know what I really want down here is some of those beehives because they look just like storage boxes. But uh, we unfortunately do not have any honeycomb yet to make those. But we'll we'll make it soon. Now notice there's a little half wall here. What's around the half wall? Ah, oh, 
Sleeping area. Sleeping area for who, you ask? Well, let me take you upstairs and show you exactly who this sleeping area is for. If you've guessed the Masons, you were, you were pretty much pretty much correct. Okay, got a little fireplace going up here, a little extra wood on the side, and check it out. All time cards due Midnight Friday. Here it is. Here it is. Look at that. We got the nice spruce beams holding the roof up, and we've got a spot for, I think, I think it's 18 masons. In fact, for the super special masons, we made them a little alcove here above the kitchen. But I think we have 18 because I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty, huh, wonder what that is. I'm pretty sure with 18 masons, I can get all of the terracotta and all of the glazed terracotta options. You know, each mason's got a little place to stand, uh, work at their stone cutter. They've got a little table next to them, plenty of light. They can even look out the window. Eventually, when they sell us bricks, uh, we could turn those bricks into pots for plants. And we can put little pots with flowers and plants in their windows and on their tables. Uh, so there you have it. The Mason's Lodge. They even started to build a little shelf up there where the light's coming through. And again, we can put some flowers and things up there. So what do you think? The Mason's Lodge. Now the only thing left to do is move all of those villagers in, convert them to Masons, and we will have all the quartz and terracotta and bricks that we need. But unfortunately, that's all the time we have for this episode, so that's going to be all for this time. Until next time, I'm Sean the Shepherd, and this has been Adventures in Minecrafting.